Hi everyone, I'm going to present this paper, Simplified Meet in the Middle Modeling for Permutations and New Quantum Attacks, which is a young group with Mark Stevens. So we're in the context of asymmetric cryptanalysis, and we're looking at attacks on cryptographic permutations. And the problem we're trying to solve is finding an input x, which has some relation with the output p of x. For example, you could say x equal p of x, and this would be a fixed point of p. This creates what we call a closed computational path, because now we have constraints between the input and the output. And the way to solve it using the meet in the middle technique is to select two subsets of the internal states in this path, one that we call the forward path and the other we call the backward path. And we're going to compute all the possibilities for these states independently, backwards and forwards. And whenever they meet, we're going to try to match these possibilities. And any matching, any pair of matching possibilities is going to give us something that we're going to recompute to check if this is a solution to our problem. So this is broadly the idea of the meet-in-the-middle attack. A uh, typical example for this uh, and how it applies to cryptographic primitives is uh, the Haraka hash function. It's a small range hash function, so it only hashes inputs of half bits to 256 bits. And it's defined using a permutation on 512 bits, uh, defined using AES operations. And the way it does it is simply uh, take the input and XOR it to the output of the permutation and truncate this to 256 bits. So, for example, finding a preimage of zero means finding an input x such as that so that this truncation is equal to the truncation of the output p of x. Well, this is exactly solving a meet in the middle problem on the permutation p. Haraka 512, the hash function is not used in uh, Sphinx plus, plus Haraka, although it was proposed to, uh, to be used in digital signatures uh, schemes, but the permutation is used uh, currently in the, uh, in the proposal. So a meet-in-the-middle attack is entirely defined by this choice of forward and backward path, which we call the meet-in-the-middle characteristic. And of course, we can uh, search for them by hand, and there are many techniques applicable. The problem is that this path can become quite complicated, especially, for example, like Haraka. So here is an example. Uh, the alternative to finding this by hand is to use an automatic tool. And uh, this is something, uh, this is a more recent idea. So what we're going to do is we model a space of possible meet in the middle characteristics and then we search the best of them and one that gives us an attack using an automatic tool. So what we say is searching for the meet in the middle attack becomes a problem of optimization. We want to optimize the attack complexity uh, on the search space, which is the space of acceptable forward and backward path. So at your equip 21, uh, Bowet Al showed that you could reduce this to an MILP problem, mixed digital linear programming. And they had a modeling that allows to target all AES-like hash functions. So all hash functions that use uh, operations uh, like in the AES. But the modeling is very complex. The reason is that it's defined using propagation rules. So there are many rules actually to, to define to, for all the different operations uh, that, uh, that you use. So in our paper, we went into a different direction. Uh, we actually ret restricted our, our study to permutations. So the difference is that now we don't have any degree of freedom in the case schedule because it's only a permutation. So there is uh, something that simplifies a lot in that. Um, but it turns out that so using this restricted setting you could expand this to more than AES-like permutations and introduce uh, an MIAP model still based on MIAP, but which is very simple. And in this model, we also include uh, quantum attacks. So we define quantum meet in the middle attacks and, uh, and include them as a new optimization goal. Well, this allows us to find new improved, either improved classical attacks or quantum attacks on several primitives, such as uh, reduced from AES and Haraka, of course. So as an example, we can have a look at the attacks on Haraka 512. It's actually already known since Eurocrypt 21 that Haraka 512 is broken. Uh, there is a pre-image attack on, the, on this hash function, which is running in time to the 240 instead of to the uh, to the 256, and it has a memory complexity of 2 to the 128. Now in our paper, we don't reduce this time complexity, but we show that with a different uh, characteristic, we could reduce the memory down to 2 to the 16, which is very small. And with the same characteristic, it becomes also possible to run a quantum attack, which is gonna run in a, basically the square root of the time complexity with some additional factors. So 2 to the 123, uh, applications of Haraka as a quantum circuit, and uh, the same memory complexity. So um, 
For the rest of the results, uh, you can find the details uh, in the print version of the paper and uh, the code is available on my GitHub account. So thank you for your attention.